watching Cooking with Mimi Monet. I'm Mimi. Let's get cooking. Today's menu we have meatloaf, fried chicken, lima beans, mashed potatoes, and rolls. So let's okay, get started. Okay, for the meatloaf, you guys, you'll need the ground beef. You'll need a a small onion, a bell pepper, soul seasoning, onion powder, Italian seasoning. Black pepper, minced garlic, and I don't have any garlic garlic powder. I would have used that. Also, inside your meatloaf, you would need you're gonna take some like some day old bread, some stale bread, and um, we're gonna I show you how to chop it up in a uh, fruit processor or something like that, a blender. But you need some day old bread, one egg, and parsley filet, and some milk. And the sauce that goes on top of the meatloaf, what you'll need for that, you'll need some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, can't say that word, y'all, and some brown sugar. That's going to go on top of the meatloaf. So let's get started with the meatloaf. Okay, you guys, preheat your oven to 350. Get crumb the bread slices and put it in your um, blender. If you got a blender, a fruit food processor, I got this little drink mix thing. You can use that. I got a little handy dandy uh, food processor. I have a big one too, but you know you just don't you don't need that for much. So I got a little one you can use. I mean a little one. So you can use your little blender and you our food process and go like this until it's um bread crumbs. So make it some bread crumbs. Okay, this how your bread crumbs should look when you finish doing it in a um pro food processor. I use two slices of bread. Take your egg and scramble it in a separate bowl just in case it's any shells or any particles. Or if it's a bad egg, you don't want to put it straight in your mixture and it's a bad egg, then you have to start all the way over. I don't too much do measurements, but I say you take about two to three tablesp tablespoons of milk and... Just pour it in there until it's like soak. Your breadcrumbs is soaking. I don't use um just enough to cover all the bread um the breadcrumbs. I'm sorry, can't talk, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, this how your mixture should look. I took probably a half a taste. A half of a teaspoon of parsley flakes and a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Put it in there. So I'm gonna just let that kind of soak a little bit until I um finish mixing up my meatloaf. And put it in your processor to chop it up. Cause you don't. It depends on um who you are and stuff. Cause some people like chunks of bell pepper, but um, some people don't like bell pepper or onions in our family, so I chop them up fine where they don't see it. So we're gonna get the bell pepper out and put it in there. And now I'm gonna cut the onion. I'm gonna leave some of the onion for the llama beans also. So I'm gonna cut this onion. Kill it. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this in for food processor also. I forgot to put this in, y'all. So, okay. That's the onions. Soul seasoning 
then like I said, you can put your seasoning or choice in here. This is my seasonal choice. So I'm gonna put some soul seasoning, some onion powder. And like I told you in previous um, videos, I don't use table salt. Black pepper. Some parsley flakes. And this, this is optional. I don't know why I put this in here, but it make it taste good, but it's Italian season. I just put a little of this in there because you don't want it to taste like spaghetti meat. Uh, like I said, I didn't have any garlic powder, so I'm gonna put like a teaspoon. About a teaspoon gotcha. half, uh, of um, garlic, minced garlic in it, okay? I don't too much want the juice. Okay, that was a teaspoon. I'm gonna put two teaspoons in it. Just because we like garlic. Okay. And you're gonna mix it up. Okay, now I'm gonna pour my mixture in there. And if I didn't tell you what this mixture does, this is to keep your meat from shrinking and also it makes it taste more like a meatloaf or hamburger steak if you keep cook that than a regular hamburger patty that you eat like on a cheeseburger so that's what that is for so dashes of this in there you know more i can't sugar. say it. but i'm gonna uh, put a couple dashes of that in there just i like the flavor of it the little smoky flavor of it and then it has um it's good for it to use in place of salt also if you don't use salt but okay and this is how your mixture should look after you finish and like I said, also i'm gonna split this in half because on one half i'm gonna put the ketchup sauce on top of it and the other half i'm not because i personally don't like the ketchup on top of it but um, so mine's going to be plain and I'll show you how it look when we, um, when I do it. So I almost left out one step. <laughs> um, the little sauce that you make on top, but to put on top of your, um, meatloaf, you also want to put it inside. So I took like one tablespoon of brown sugar, some ketchup. Few dashes of sauce. Can't say it, so I'm not gonna try no more. And just mix, and that's it. And this one, this part, gonna go inside of the meatloaf. And then I'ma um, make mix some more up to go um, on top of the meatloaf once it's halfway done this is how your meatloaf should look after you finish shaping it shape it how you want to shape it this is the best I can do so this is what I do, um, did this is how it should look after you even put the little ketchup mixture inside of it you don't have to do that much I did like two tablespoons of ketchup two to three tablespoons of ketchup tablespoon of brown sugar and a few dashes of the Worcestershire sauce. So that's how I look in the oven. Okay, goes. this is basic. Everybody, I guess, know how to cook fried chicken. But what you need for chicken, this is the leftover chicken I had from the other day. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna cook it. Plus, I have someone in my house that don't eat ground beef. So we're gonna fry some chicken. You need some chicken, some seasoning of your choice. I'm using black pepper, so seasoning, onion powder and parsley flakes and then I have some garlic pepper up there I'm going to use also some flour season your flour if you don't already have it this flour is already seasoned so I'm good to go and some vegetable oil but most likely I'm going to use canola oil 
Okay, y'all. I kind of I apologize for the noise in the background. You know, it's Sunday and it's football season, so you know how that go. So right now, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna do the lima beans, and for the lima beans, you need the lima beans, an onion, your seasoning of choice. I got black pepper, soul seasoning, and onion powder. And I'm gonna put some garlic in. I should I forgot to put that up there. Some olive oil to fry your meat in, and some butter and a chicken beauty cube. Now just use one of those because you got this meat. You got this meat right here. That's the same meat I used in my beans the last time. 88 cents. Can't beat it. Piggly wiggly. And it's kind of salty, so you don't have to use too much of this meat. I mean, you can use half of this meat for the beans I have, but I might use the whole. It just depends how, on how it look. But just use one of these and just use a, a little bit of this because these two are salty already. So you don't want to put too much salt in your beans. Or just taste the beans after it's finished. And if it seems like you need any more salt or um, any more salt to it, then you can add it. So let's get started. Okay, I have the chicken frying and I have my lima beans going. And on my lima beans, I forgot to tell you, I added a bay leaf to it. So make sure you add a bay leaf to it. It is so good. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. The meatloaf is almost done to put the sauce on top of it. And all I have to do now is make my mashed potatoes. I'm sure y'all know how to make mashed potatoes. How I make it, I put part water, half water, half um, milk, butter, and salt. And I do use table salt for that. Up, And then I add um, butter, more butter if it's not butter enough for me, black pepper, and parsley flakes. And I will show you how everything looks once I'm finished. Okay, what I did now... I pour the um, sauce, that's the ketchup, brown sugar, the rest of sour sauce, that is that. And I also took a little of the grease fat and pour, um, mix it all together and put it on top of that one. That one's plain, like I said, because I don't eat the ketchup on top of mine. But it's good, but I just don't like the ketchup on top of mine. And you're going to put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes to make that kind of little brown, golden just make it nice and sweet and um also i drained i poured the fat off of the um meat because it was like a lot like cheaper your meat is the more grease and fat it have so it had a lot of grease and fat on so i took that off but that's how i look and it's going back in the oven this is the finished product the mashed potatoes the rolls the lima beans the chicken and the meatloaf. And remember, my meatloaf doesn't have the ketchup on top, so that's mine. It's falling apart because it's so juicy. Uh -huh. But that's it. Happy eating, everyone.